Anyone who's ever looked into the night sky and wondered what life is like out there might get an answer sooner than they thought. Because in the future of aviation, Earth is only a launching point for what's possible. So far, in our series on the evolution of human flight here at Feed My Curiosity, we have looked at the history of aviation up until the present, from dangerous homemade wings in the medieval times, to the present where air travel is the safest form of transportation, and we almost take it for granted. Today in our third and final installment of the series, we look toward the future of flight, from the advances of earthly air travel to the innovations that will eventually take us beyond our planet and help us better understand our universe. The evolution of air travel has had many twists and turns over the years, as people have tried to create the safest, most efficient ways to fly. In recent decades, we haven't seen too many drastic changes in basic plane design, but that may change as we move into the future. Most importantly, scientists and engineers are anticipating the coming effects of climate change by creating new designs and technologies to make planes of the future as efficient as possible, as society moves away from oil. Similar to the car industry, electric propulsion is the way of the future in the world World of aviation. Current technologies in electric powered planes aren't quite ready for takeoff yet, but they're on their way. The battery pack required to fly a plane today would have to be large and very heavy, making them not yet viable. As people work to create lighter, more powerful battery packs, innovations are also working to revolutionize the possibilities of shorter distance air travel. Organizations like NASA, Vahana, and City Airbus are all working on electric aircrafts that will reduce fuel use, emissions, and noise as they aim to create different forms of short haul flight. In the next few decades, we might be able to take air taxis from one part of a city to another in the fraction of the time it would take to drive. Not only would these help reduce our carbon footprint, but they also reduce congestion on our increasingly busy roads. Another aspect of these short distance aircrafts is automation or the ability of a plane to drive itself. It may be a little nerve wracking to put your life in the hands of a computerized plane, but current plans include a human safety pilot in the plane in case anything goes awry. Advancements in automation though, will make it possible for these types of planes to be much more prevalent and possibly more affordable since they won't need large crews for each craft. In a time when we're already seeing electric and self-driving cars begin to take hold, it seems as though it won't be long before these concepts infiltrate the plane industry. Us humans aren't just interested in advancing air travel on our planet though. There's a whole universe out there waiting to be discovered. The farthest we've ever been into space was our moon, and the last mission to do so was back in 1972. Since then, humans have been focusing on shorter trips and the construction of the International Space Station. That figures to change though, as people are hard at work planning future missions to go deeper into space than ever before. Both NASA and Elon Musk's company, SpaceX, are working on returning to the moon with the hope of eventually sending an aircraft to Mars. Many of these plans serve dual purposes of recreation and research. SpaceX, for example, is planning a trip around the moon and back, with the initial voyage planned to be made by fashion innovator and art curator Yosaku Meizawa in 2023. SpaceX hopes to establish this week-long trip as a viable possibility for adventurous travelers with deep pockets. And it will also help fund the development of SpaceX's latest and most powerful vehicle, the Big Falcon Rocket, or BFR. If it comes to fruition, the BFR has the potential to revolutionize the way we think of air travel. SpaceX has plans to make the first trip to Mars on the BFR, with the initial cargo mission to the Red Planet in 2022, and then a second mission with a crew in 2024. Their plan is for these first ships to establish a Mars base, where they can build research centers and potentially self-sustaining civilizations on the planet. Considering most sci-fi movies with Mars colonies seem like a faraway future, it seems pretty remarkable that it may be a reality in the next decade. Another plan for the BFR is to be used for transportation from place to place on Earth by traveling outside of the planet's atmosphere. The rocket would have unprecedented power and speed and would be able to avoid the elements like friction, turbulence, and weather since it would travel in space. According to SpaceX, these factors would make it possible to travel anywhere on Earth in less than an hour. Imagine, you can wake up in Los Angeles 
and be in London by the time you're eating your breakfast. While many of these technologies are still in the early stages and have many challenges ahead, it's hard not to get excited for the future of innovation. Not only will it be easier to travel anywhere in the world and beyond than ever before, but vehicles of the future will be more efficient, hopefully helping to heal our Earth from the effects of climate change. If we've learned anything from the history of aviation, it's that humans' curiosity of flight and perseverance through adversity has not and never will be held down. This concludes our series on the evolution of human flight. Stay tuned for future videos about various fascinating aspects of our experience on Earth. If you've liked what you watched or have any more suggestions, hit like and comment below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button too. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time on Feed My Curiosity.